Good afternoon everybody, Simon here, Explosive Action, back for a June update, part one, probably of two. Um, I'm just going to kick straight into it, it's been a pretty decent month so far. Uh, mix of Blu-rays and DVDs here, so let's just get cracking. Number one, the new Scorpion releasing of Empire of the Ants and Jaws of Satan. Uh, I haven't seen Empire of the Ants in a long time, and Jaws of Satan I've never seen. Um, so really looking forward to checking out this release. First time on Blu-ray. Maybe even be first time on DVD for Jaws of Satan. I'm not too sure about that one. Madman. This is the uh, the new uh, Vinegar Syndrome Blu-ray of Madman. Very nice. Very happy to get this. I haven't checked out the transfer yet. Um, so I'm not too sure if it's the one with the blue tint or not. It certainly looks like it might do from the screenshot. Remember, there was a bit of controversy about uh, the Anchor Bay versus the Code Red DVDs in the time. Uh, keen to check out Madman. Of course, I've seen this before. Classic Slasher. Uh, very happy to upgrade that title. Sorry. There we go. Organising some discs here. Right. Next up. Nemesis. Complete box set. Fantastic. This is all four Nemesis films. The UK Blu-ray set. This is one, two, three, and four. Uh, pretty much definition of uh, B grade sci fi, these films. Fantastic stuff. Individual discs for each film one, two, three, and four. So, no messy compression issues to worry about there. Yep, very happy to check out Nemesis set. Retribution. This is a new Code Red Blu-ray exclusively sold through uh, Screen Archives. Upgrade my DVD copy here. Really nice uh, 80s um, supernatural horror flick. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely a good one to check out. Um, do make the attempt to jump onto the Screen Archives site and pick up this Blu-ray. It's limited, I think, to two or three thousand copies. Which, uh, knowing everything on the screen archives, that stuff will sell out, so get on that as soon as you can. Also from them, very happy to get Shackma. Look at that baboon. This is a baboon movie. Gotta love your scary monkey films. Um, I've not seen Shackma. I had the VHS forever, and before I got around to watching it, uh, Code Red announced this Blu-ray. So I thought, oh look, I'm not going to bother now. I'll just get the Blu-ray when it comes out. Um, certainly looks like it's going to be good fun. I've had a few uh, reviews from it already. Looking forward to checking out Shackma. Local Blu-ray uh, of Witchfinder General. Been out for a little while now, but now it's on a two for twenty dollars sale. A Cinema Cult release, slipcase edition, like all theirs. Just the same stuff, but same artwork, but in a slipcase. Um, pretty nice to get. Vincent Price classic. Same with Hatchet for the Honeymoon. I never had a DVD of this. Um, just didn't happen. It was in a box set from Umbrella and it may have been an individual release, I think. I'm not sure, but just some reason I never had this film, so now I'm very happy to get it. Uh, classic Barber, of course. Very happy. Picked this up yesterday. Oh, brother, we're out there. Classic uh, Coen Brothers comedy. Again, a Blu ray upgrade over a DVD not something I would have jumped on to upgrade being uh, a comedy it's not one of those things I oh I have to have it on blu-ray but it was in a charity store for two dollars um, so I thought I would salvage it so there you go very fun film uh, dawn of the planet of the apes sequel to rise the planet of the apes I haven't seen this yet I quite like rise uh, everyone says that dawn is much better so looking forward to this uh, salvaged again from a cash converters for six dollars very happy. Brand new release, Skin Trade, new Dolph Lundgren with Tony GR and um, Ron Perlman and Michael J. White and Peter Weller. I mean, it's an action sensation here. Check it out. Awesome. It's had great reviews and I'm very much looking forward to checking out Skin Trade. I've been following its progress for, it seems like, years. And in, in the Asylum tradition, though it's not their film, Skin Traffic 
came out the day before here. And I that artwork is far superior to Skin Trade. Look at it. That is fantastic stuff. Let's just uh, quickly look at the all-star cast, if I can focus on it. There we go. Gary Daniels, Mickey Rourke, Eric Roberts, Daryl Hannah, Michael Madsen, Dominic Swain, Alan Ford, and Jeff Fay. This is going to be craptacular. I know it's going to be fun. Um, please, God, I hope it's fun. Look at that. I just want something trashy and fun. That's all I want, and it's got to be good. Uh, Abraham Lincoln vs. Zombies. I have the UK DVD, which was kindly sent to me. But now, um, I, I did want the Australian one whenever I could find it cheap, because I like this pop by Vendetta range, and I'm a sucker for um, spines of DVDs all lining up and looking nice. And It was finally uh, available to me for um, uh, 6 bucks on JB's current sale. Uh, actually, currently just ended sale. So, yes, happy to pick up the Australian edition. Scarecrow's new DVD release here. There's a Blu-ray coming too. Um, this was given to me by a friend who did not like the film. Um, I have not checked it out yet. I was planning on getting the Blu-ray, um, blind buying it. He didn't like this film, so he's given me his DVD. Um, so if I like it, I will decide if I'll upgrade or not. But I'm happy to get 80s film Scarecrow's uh, for the price of nothing. Uh, Dead End. There was a guy on a Facebook DVD group that was selling a lot of DVDs. And I picked up... Uh, this next bunch from him, uh, Dead End from Monster. Don't know much about it, but it does look pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, I, I really don't know much about it, but it does look like it's going to be a pretty decent zombie-style film. Dead End. Anybody seen it? Blind Alley, I've had my eye on for a while. Described as a neo Jalo uh, from the writer of Devil's Backbone, producers of Julia's Eyes. 70s exploitation style. It certainly ticks all the cards, as long as it's not too full of itself. I should enjoy Blind Alley. And these I got from the same guy. He set them, sold them very cheap. Uh, the Ozploitation sets, volumes 1 through 4. Um, this one you get The Adventures of Barry McKenzie, Naked Bunyip, Turkey Shoot, Road, Road Games, Harlequin, Night of Fear. Volume 2, Long Weekend, Chain Reaction, Razorback, Stone. Uh, fantasy and the true true story of Eskimo Nell. Number three, uh, the ABCs of Love and Sex. Mad Dog Morgan, Patrick, Felicity, Barry McKenzie holds his own. Les Patterson saves the world. In volume four, Alvin Purple, uh, BMX Bandits. Number ninety six, the movie. My God, Alvin rides again. Stalk and Dark Age. Now I had uh, quite a few of those films. About half a dozen of them already on DVD and or Blu-ray. But these sets go for quite a price, and that is not what I paid for them. Plus it fills a lot of gaps, so very, very happy to pick up the Ausplotation sets. Uh, also yesterday I went on a bit of a thrift store run, and I struck uh, I struck pay dirt on my thrift store run. Charity stores, Vinnies, Salvos, all the usuals. I picked up uh, This Girl is Badass which I don't know much about, but it's The Girl from Chocolate, um, which was a really cool martial arts film, and Raging Phoenix as well. There you go. I'm not seeing that one. So Thai martial arts, but a bit of a comedy one, I think, so should be fun. Madman put out good stuff. Dungeons and Dragons, the, the Elemental Might. This is the second film. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm doing to myself here. It's going to be garbage, but hey, look. These were like $2 each. Fuck yeah, Enter the Blood Ring. Robert Zadar and a guy called Malibu. Look at this shot. Look at this. this is the definition of 1980s action. Fuck me. Um, this local release is very hard to find. Um, I do have it on a multi-pack, but uh, singular release of Enter the Blood Ring through Payless. Stoked, as was this, holy shit. Repo Jake, we have a local DVD? Are you kidding me? So immediately I put it on yet again. I've got a UK DVD with uh, another film. I don't remember which one it is, but it's a double set. I've had for about five years. Review it on the website. Go check out my review. Watched this again yesterday, and I enjoyed it more than the first time. 
um, the stuff that I complained about a little in my review, I didn't find at all a problem this time. And I sat back and quite enjoyed this cheesy thing. Transfer is identical, so it's like from, not from a VHS, but it's from a, a VHS master, so quite an old master tape. And it's perfectly adequate for this, this film. It's a PM Entertainment film. Um, this is a... Who is it? Um, RBC Entertainment, who... I'm not too sure of the legitimacy of that company, but look, I don't care. I now have an Australian DVD of Repo Jake. Dead Bang, know nothing about this, but it's Don Johnson. From the same Salvos pickup. Looks pretty good, hard-driving entertainment. Anyone seen this one? Dead Bang. Manhattan Chase, this is also incredibly rare, as far as I know, the only country in the world to get this film on DVD, uh, with uh, Lauren Abaddon and Cynthia Rothrock. I have it on a multi-pack as well, now I have the single disc, very stoked, not the best Cynthia Rothrock, but um, it's still quite a decent one. Spitfire, no idea, I've never heard of this before, and then I found this thing, Hollywood DVD, uh, old cheapo label that I don't think exists anymore. And it's got uh, Christy Phillips, who I'm not familiar with, but it has uh, Lance Henriksen, and it's a friggin' Albert Pyon film. Spitfire, Albert Pyon film. Anybody seen it? Looking forward to that. Uh, come out and play. I actually got this from JB um, in their cheapo sale as well. Um, $6 something. Looks pretty cool. Um, I think it's like a you know evil kids terrorizing the norms, you know, um, Children of the Corn kind of thing. Joysticks, Joe Don Baker. Nice 80s dirty comedy. Out of print, worth a lot of money now. Scorpion release. Um, it was Buy It Now for $22 or something. Uh, local seller jumped on it as soon as I could. Very happy to get that. Missed it the first time around. Silent Predators. What a, what a lazy cover. <laughs> but it's quite endearing, I think. Just a big fuck-off snake hissing on a, on a blue starburst or something. I don't know, it's just going straight into my creature feature shelf. Silent Predators. Only rated M, can't expect too much from it. M is basically PG for the US. Uh, Toy Soldiers, I tried to get these bloody stickers off, but they wouldn't budge. Um, had or have a VHS of this, I might have traded it already. Don't recall. Quite enjoyable, Louis Gossett Jr. and Sean Astin. Uh, 80s action, so the... When the adults fail, the kids try and solve the problem kind of deal. Um, Hostages and uh, mercenaries and that kind of deal. It was good fun, I remember. So, and finally, the DVD. It's a nice widescreen DVD, too. Minotaur. This looks crappy. Rutger Howe, Tony Todd, Tom Hardy. That's right. Tom Hardy, Mad Max, Tom Hardy. Minotaur. Sci-fi channel stuff here. Looking forward to checking out Minotaur. Oh, now, this was a, this was a pickup. Uh, Ken Russell, Crimes of Passion. This thing goes for about 70 bucks on Amazon now, if you're lucky. And it was in a Vinnie's for two dollars. Two bucks in a Vinnie's. Thank you very much. Early Anchor Bay release. That's definitely one of my highlights this year in terms of uh, rarities in a charity store. Somebody donated this DVD. Fantastic. Ken Russell's Crimes of Passion. Never seen it. 2012. Um, this is a BBC comedy series um, with a lot of people that I recognise. Um, He's got Jessica Himes, so that's that's fantastic. Um, this is a satirical um, behind-the-scenes, I think, sort of uh, comedy of um, the the government group who have to set up the um, the Olympics in 2012. Holy shit! Sorry, I was just babbling there. I just saw it was narrated by David Tennant. I didn't pick that up the first time. Awesome. That's even more funny. So this should be good. I like these um, sort of fake fly on the wall ones like, you know, like a front line would have been a good example for Australian fans. Ghost Ship. Why did I get Ghost Ship? Because I was uh, just getting these, um, what's the damn company called again? I've already forgotten the company. Anyway, the ones that did all these things like 13 Ghosts, I've just, name has exited my brain. Um, craptacular, of course, the first five minutes are untouchable, but then it gets a bit crappy. And I, I picked up the re-release, like, for two bucks from Vinnie's about a month ago, and then I see the first pressing 
for another two bucks and I figured oh, why not I'll get a first pressing of ghost ship I've done stupider things flight Denzel Washington uh, quite a well thought of film um, and uh, uh, not one of the ones I would pick up full price when it was released but I do need more of these uh, you know, edgier seat thriller kind of things and it's uh, Robert Zemeckis so I, I should really enjoy flight and yeah the price was right at $2 uh, Gabriel I think this is an Australian film um, I remember when it came out with a lot, a lot of rave about it so yeah let's see what this is like Completely missed me by Gabriel. Anybody seen it? Two to go. Phoenix. I was sold by uh, Brad Dourif and Billy Drago. Hello. Um, some shit-tastic science fiction here, I think, folks. Guy doing some kickboxing. And a local DVD from God knows when. So, Phoenix. Happy stuff. And the last one. Um, a probably fairly dodgy copy of um, these three Roger Corman black and white terror light, uh, little shop of horrors but mainly why I got it was monster from the ocean floor which I don't have on any other format I'm at least just curious to see but this is three films stuffed onto one DVD so we'll see how we go anyway that's this update hope you all enjoyed quick blast through 16 minutes see you all next time